Having received multiple requests for an updated version on my interactive presentation video, I am going to dive right into it. This is another flipped classroom tutorial. Right, let's start off by creating a new slide. So right click and Google Slides. Now once we're in our Google Slides, we are going to have to really plan this out. Now in my previous presentation, I've used a tree and the goal was to click on the different parts of the tree and have those named. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the solar system today. One added functionality of Google Slides since my previous version is the explore function. So go ahead and click on the explore button down below and this is going to pull up our beautiful explore window. Now I'm going to search for the solar system. So go ahead and type in solar system. Don't worry about typos. This will be taken care of. I'm going to search for an image that I can use and I want an image without the planet's names. So let's go ahead and select this image. So I'm going to add this image to my slideshow. Okay, I'm going to insert this image. We can now close our explore box and I'm going to resize the image so that it fits onto a single slide. So let's go ahead and resize our image. Okay, now the goal is that when students click on the sun, they actually see the label sun. When they click on Venus, they will see a label Venus. So how do we get this done? Well, first of all, let's add our labels. So let's go ahead and add the various labels. I am also going to make sure that this is aligned in the center and then I'm simply going to copy paste it to have my different labels. So we have all our labels and we have our planets. Now I'd like to add a couple of arrows just to make it easier for our learners. So let's go ahead and add arrows from each label. Okay, so let's add a little back button. So let's go ahead and add back. Let's use the same font, slightly smaller, name this blank. Okay, so whenever our students click on blank, our slideshow goes blank. When they click on the sun, they get the label sun. When they click on mercury, they get the label mercury. Okay, our slideshow is now ready to be linked. So last time I had a very irregularly shaped image, so I had to use the polyline. This time I have circles, so I can use my shape circle tool. So let's go ahead and draw our first circle for the sun. There we go. We're going to make this a perfect fit. We're going to set our line to transparent. Set your fill color to transparent. And we now have a shape covering the sun that we can set up to be clickable. So let's go ahead and copy this because we are also in need of another circle for the other planets. So let's go ahead and do that right now. There we go. So we now have all our circles clickable and we have our blank button. Now we're going to link the blank to page one first. So let's go ahead and right click on this link. This is now going to be linked to slides, slide one. Apply and this link has been made. So I'm going to duplicate this now. So go ahead and duplicate. And you're going to duplicate this for every planet. Once you've done this, you can start removing the information you no longer need. So my first slide will be a blank slide. So I obviously want no information on my first slide and remove. On the second slide, I want all the labels gone, but I still want my sun displayed and leave the sun. So now we have slide one, slide two, slide three, and so on. Once you finish that, you are going to link your individual shapes to the correct slides. So the first shape is my sun. I'm going to link this to slide two. Apply. Then I'm going to link the second one, link to slide three. Apply. I'm going to link the fourth to slide four. 
and so on and so on. Once you've done that, it's as simple as selecting all your hyperlinked shapes. And copying them onto your other slides so that you copy those links as well. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go to slide two, slide three. Once you have done this, you can click on present to preview this presentation. So let's go ahead and do that now. When I click on the sun, I see the sun's label. And if everything's okay, when I click on Mercury, I should see Mercury's label. Everything works, I can switch between the two. And it is completely up to you if you want to add a show all button down below, then you can do that as well. I hope that you found the updated video on using this feature useful and helpful and that the audio quality was of a much better standard than the original video. I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.